Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to learn about uh, the most uh, used keyboard shortcuts that uh, you should learn in Figma. Now, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a new ebook on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you want to learn from a designer with over a decade of experience, check it for free in the link in the description. And now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So let's get started with the basic keyboard shortcuts and uh, just one thing that you have to keep in mind is that if you click on this section right here and I'm just going to move myself around uh, and you click on a keyboard shortcuts, you're going to find all of the Figma's keyboard shortcuts directly here. So if at any time you want to revise these, this is actually the best way to go about it. Now, that being said, the very first one, and of course the most common, is going to be spacebar, and that is going to enable you to pan around the file, which uh, of course is going to be very, very important. Now, another keyboard shortcut that uh, I use all of the time is the one to create frames, which is F, and uh, it's uh, quite simple. Most of these keyboard shortcuts are actually the initial letter of uh, the element uh, so that is uh, going to make it very easy for you to remember it and uh, i also highly encourage you to remember all of the keyboard shortcuts of the basic shapes because you're going to use them all the time for example r for rectangle o for the oval and then uh, you can see them uh, all over here line uh, is going to be l so very easy and then uh, you can also remember, for example, the arrow, which uh, is going to save you a little bit of time. Shift plus L instead of uh, having to create a line uh, and then uh, select uh, the end point or the starting point uh, to be a line arrow. You can uh, save some time by doing that, uh, as well as uh, the pen tool, which is going to be P. So all of these tools uh, are actually very easy to remember because they're simply the initial of uh, the tool itself. Now, other elements which are, or shortcuts, which are incredibly uh, important to memorize and keep in mind are going to be the Alt and the Option key in order to create a quick duplicate of an element. So again, Alt Option, and uh, you can easily create a duplicate by simply using the left mouse button and the drag that element. And uh, you can also do it manually by simply using Command C and then Command V. So basically this is a very common uh, uh, keyboard shortcut. It's going to enable you to, first of all, copy the element, uh, so Command C, and then Command V is going to paste it. Now, one more element that you have to keep in mind is uh, going to be Command Z, which uh, is going to bring you back uh, in history to one action back. So if you use Command Z, uh, multiple times you can easily go back and basically undo what you created however there is another combination which is going to enable you to bring you forward so that is going to be command shift plus z so this is actually going to bring you forward in the timeline so if you undo something for accident you can very easily also bring it back unless you create another action which is then going to collide with the timeline as you're creating a new branch of actions. So these are going to be the absolute basics and of course the move tool is going to be very important to keep in mind so that you can easily and quickly switch between uh, uh, for example one mode and the other. So say that I'm creating a rectangle and uh, I want to go back uh, to, to the move tool for some reason, maybe I selected a frame and I want to go back, simply use V and you're going to be able to go back to the move tool, which is going to mainly be resetted by default uh, to the move tool. So it's not really going to be something that uh, you're going to need to use all the time, but definitely nice to have. Another great uh, thing to keep in mind is uh, the scale tool that is going to be with K. So if you type K, you can see how you can very easily scale up and down an element by leveraging the scale tool. And at this point, we can use V 
in order to go back to the move tool once again. Other one which is going to be used all the time is going to be the typography, so T. So T for, for typography, you can enter text, of course, and uh, that is going to make it very easy, as well as uh, the comment, which is going to be using the C. So you can quickly add comments, and uh, that is going to really make it uh, uh, easy and fast as you're collaborating and just dropping comments in your Figma file. Now we discussed frames, but uh, one other element that you're going to want to add uh, in uh, that is going to contain multiple frames uh, is going to be the section. And the section is going to be shift plus S and uh, with shift plus S, you can create uh, a section very quickly. So these are going to be some of the basic uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, other ones which you're going to use all the time is going to be the auto layout. So for example, if I need uh, to create an auto layout between these two elements, I simply select them and then I use shift plus A and uh, the auto layout was created. Alternatively, I might want to create a group between these two elements. So I'm going to use command plus G and that is going to ungroup. And if I want to ungroup it, I simply use command plus G plus shift. So by doing that, I'm going to ungroup uh, this uh, elements. So these uh, are going to be the very most uh, common elements that you're going to utilize. Other one is going to be I in order to use the color picker. So this is going to enable you to pick a color very fast, of course. And uh, after that, uh, you essentially can uh, make this recommendation will be to review all of uh, these uh, keyboard shortcuts plus uh, more in uh, this uh, section. These I would say are the very most common one, which uh, I personally use all of the time in my day to day as a UI UX designer. However, there's definitely going to be other ones which uh, probably do not come to mind, but you can review them, all of them uh, directly here. Other ones that I can think of is command plus and command minus in order to zoom in and zoom out. Although you can do that also with the scroll wheel. And uh, of course, you can also utilize uh, the text uh, in order to create, uh, for example, with command B, bold, uh, underline. I think that most of you are going to be familiar already with uh, this type of keyboard shortcuts because uh, they're used in any text editor, so from Word to Notion and uh, uh, even Gmail. So most of you are probably going to already be familiar with those. But um, I would say this uh, is definitely a great uh, overview of uh, the most common keyboard shortcuts, which I think at the bare minimum, you should be familiar with these because it's going to make uh, your life easier. And again, I would recommend uh, spending initially at the beginning of the day, just five minutes to revise these. Uh, after a couple of days, uh, you're going to notice that a lot of these are going to become second nature. And uh, right after that, uh, you're going to literally fly on Figma as it's going to be easier than ever to work on a design project.